Okay, dear students. Hello all. We will learn present continuous tense today. Uh, that is also the first video lesson of EnglishAllInOne.com. EnglishAllInOne.com is open today, and uh, that is also the first tutorial of uh, EnglishAllInOne.com website. Okay, let's start together. Present continuous tense. Uh, and let's start by a uh, grammar in context read the following text together and pay attention to the color text okay let's start I am attending to a meeting today because I have a job application I got up very early then I wore my best clothes then I am on the way to my meeting I am counting my steps to the application saloon why? Because I am very excited. I didn't forget anything. However, I am still trembling like a flower. It's a very important meeting for me. I am on my way. I am going to my job application meeting. Yes, I am, a, I am attending a meeting today. Now, let's uh, look at uh, some, pre some sentences in present continuous tense together. How they are formed. Okay. I am doing my homework, he is listening to music, she is preparing for the class, is parking in the garden, we are helping each other, you are speaking in English, they are participating to the party. Okay, now let's remember those. I am, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, and they are. Okay. To make questions in present continuous tense, we simply change the position am, is, are, and subject. Okay? I am doing my homework. Am I doing my homework? If you want to uh, make a question, we simply change am, is, are, and the subject. He is listening to the teacher. Is he listening to the teacher? For example, we are helping each other. Are we helping each other? You are speaking in English. Are you speaking in English? Okay, dear students, dear learners. Now let's continue with uh, how to make a negative sentence in present continuous tense. To make a negative, we simply add not or in short form an apostrophe after M is R. I am not doing my homework or short form I am I'm not doing my homework we are not listening to the teacher sorry we are not listening to teacher we aren't listening to teacher the short form okay forming sentence in present continuous tense uh, to form positives subjects and after subjects am is are for example I am he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. And verb plus ing. I am reading. He is reading. We are reading. Okay? And an object. Object. What's an object? Uh, for example, a book. A book is an object. A pencil is an object. For example, I am reading a book. A book is, here is an object. He is reading an, a book, sorry. Okay, and the complementary part. What's the complementary part? A complementary part it may be an adverb, uh, a time adverb, etc., etc. Okay, I am reading a book in my study room this evening. Okay, to form negatives, subject, MSR verb ing, Sorry, subject, MSR and not verb plus ing and again object and again a complementary part. It is all easy again. I am not reading a book in my study room or he is not reading a book in his, his study room. Okay, to, to form questions, we simply put M is R at the beginning of the sentence and after that we use a subject and an object and the complementary part. For example, 
Am I reading a book in my comp a book in my study room? Okay. Now example sentence in present continuous tense. I am attending to the meeting. He is preparing for his math exam. She is writing a new blog post. It is standing over there. We are planning to go abroad. You are drinking your tea. They are meeting every Tuesday. And let's look at negatives. And here, here, uh, here is our negatives. And they are all in the short forms. With, I am not attending to the meeting. He isn't preparing for his math exam. She isn't writing a new blog post. It isn't standing over there. We aren't planning to go to sorry to go abroad. You aren't drinking your tea. They aren't meeting every Tuesday. And now let's look at interrogatives with yes no questions and let's give them some short answers or long answers. Am I standing sorry, I am attending to the meeting. Yes, you are attending to the meeting. Or shortly, yes you are. Or no you aren't or with long form no you aren't attending to the meeting is he preparing for his math exam yes he is yes he is preparing for his math exam no he isn't no he isn't preparing for his math exam and let's look at with uh, plural uh, subject are we planning to go abroad yes we are or Yes, we are planning to go abroad. No, we aren't. Or no, we aren't planning to go abroad. Are you drinking your tea? Yes, I am. Or yes, I am drinking my tea. No, I am not. Or no, I am not drinking my tea. Okay. Now, questions with interrogatives and with VH question words. Okay, sorry. Interrogatives with VH question words. I am attending to the meeting alone for my job application at at the new salon today. Now part by part. Now let's look at the question words. What am I attending today? You are attending to the meeting. Who is attending to the meeting? You are attending to the meeting. Where am I attending to the meeting? You are attending to the meeting at new salon. Why am I attending to the meeting? Because it is about your job application. You are sorry. When am I attending to the meeting? You are attending to the meeting today. How am I attending to the meeting? You are attending to the meeting alone. Now, as you see, we simply add vh question words at the beginning of the sentence, and the rest of the question sentence are the same. Let's look at. Am I attending to the meeting? What am I attending to? Sorry. Am I attending today? What am I attending today? Is uh, sorry. Am I attending to the meeting? Where am I attending to the meeting? It is not correct for uh, for the question words uh, that begin with who, because who is asking the subject of the sentence because of that. We do not put the sub put the subject at the sentence that began with who. Who is attending to the meeting? You are attending to the meeting. Okay. Now, dear students, if you manage forming sentence in present continuous tense, you you can communicate in English. You only need two uh, two hundred uh, most frequently used words in English and. By, by this way, you can communicate in English by your uh, body language, gestures, etc. And after studying your lesson in English all-in-one website, take the quiz here, st uh, simply start the quiz uh, and choose the quiz questions and you can write your commands at the end of the Pause. Okay. Thank you very much all. Uh, bye.